The intent of this video is to discuss why some of the World War II B-29s painted their undersides a glossy black color. This June 9, 1945, 20th Air Force newsletter directs all delivered B-29 bombers to have their undersides painted a glossy black. B-29s were designed to operate as a daylight, high-altitude, long-range, strategic, precision bomber. In this role, the bombers struggled to accurately place bombs over the Japanese homeland targets. This was due to both weather and the jet stream. This image shows the cloud cover expected over Japan during the summer months. This declassified 21st Bomber Command news report dated February 1944 outlines the results of an air communication study reviewing the jet stream wind speeds over the Tokyo area. The report states that bombers should expect 10 occurrences of wind speeds over 150 miles an hour during the months of December, January, and February. Also, a wind speed of 190 miles an hour was observed at an altitude of 31,000 feet. Precision bombing requires both visual sightings of the target and the B-29's Norton bomb site dialed in correctly to accurately compute a bomb release ballistic solution. The Norton bomb site is ineffective at compensating for jet stream winds at these speeds. The B-29 bombers were deployed in six bombing phases based on target type, type of bomb, bombing altitude, and if bombing was conducted during the day or night. In March 1945, Bomber Command changed the operational procedures for bombing phases 3, 4, and 5. Bombing phases 3, 4, and 5 would be conducted at low altitude and at night. Roughly two-thirds of all B-29 missions were conducted at night after March 1945. Japanese night fighters were never really a threat to the bombers. The main nighttime threat the bombers faced came from ground artillery flak. Japan's deployed radar was considered primitive, years behind the technology of other World War II belligerents, and not effective for artillery laying purposes. Japanese radar could be jammed by electronic countermeasures or disrupted by shaft or rope. This chart shows a British Lancaster dropping shaft to confuse German radar. Shaft consists of bundled strips of aluminum foil dropped from the bomber. Japanese ground artillery will be fired on bombers only in searchlight illumination. Standard procedure was up to four searchlights to pick up and track a single bomber. This February 1946 declassified document of Japanese anti-aircraft artillery shows a map of the location of both Japanese artillery and searchlights guarding the Tokyo area during World War II. If Japanese anti-aircraft gunners could not see the B-29 bombers, they will not be able to track and fire at the bombers. This is where the glossy black paint comes in. The B-29s of the 28th Squadron of the 314th Wing had their undersides painted in a high-gloss jet black paint to determine its effectiveness against searchlights. The high gloss paint was superior to flat black paint if illuminated by searchlights. The high gloss paint has a mirror like finish and a low diffuse reflection. The plane's painted surface will reflect the concentrated searchlight beam at mirror angles with minimum of light scattering in other directions. This makes the bombers very stealthy to searchlight illumination. The blacked out 28 squadron planes were flown during two Tokyo missions. Only one of the bombers would cone by searchlights. The searchlights could only track the bomber for about 60 seconds and then lost the bead. In summary, the glossy black coat makes the bombers extremely difficult for searchlight operators to pick up and track. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing to the channel World War II U.S. Bombers.